Welcome to the Advent. Now I'm really excited about this base, so I want to get straight into the tour. I'll just show you around the size of the base very, very quickly. And we'll start off with the disconnectable TCs. There's only two of them on this base. That was done on purpose. Oh my God, get out of no clip. Right, going to the first uh, disconnectable. You can see it's also a spawn point with a locker. Here's the TC and the upkeep's are very, very cheap. Both uh, TCs, uh, both externals are the same cost. And to disconnect the TCs, yeah, not with a grenade. Very, very simple, like so. So coming into the first gatehouse, you see you've got peaks there into the gate. Peaks outside, which is quite handy when your um, TC is a spawn point. And here into the compound, you've got 360 degree uh, turret coverage, all the way around, large furnace, same around the other side and you can get into your base by these doors here and that's the same the other side but what we'll do we'll start off um going in the uh, main entrance like i say this is a very standard gatehouse as well Got garage door garage door obviously that's going outside again and that's the other door going outside So coming into the base, you've got the battery on your right hand side. All the turrets are outside, there's five turrets in total. This here is your bunker. But we'll go upstairs first to the first floor. Okay, coming up the ladder hatch, come to a garage door and more garage doors as you'd expect with one of my bases. And here you've got um, a spawn point for two players and another locker, obviously, because you'll need it. And a four box loot room. They're on ramps because underneath there is the TC. That's a very small compact room there. Okay, coming up to the roof, which I'm really quite proud of actually. Okay, uh, you've got a turret cover in the, the roof. Uh, you can put two turrets on here, obviously. And here you've got peak downs, but you can see all around the base. Oh, you can open these, peak down there, peak down there. I'm sure you know how peak downs work. Yeah, but you can see all around the base anyway. And for the Giga Chads of you, you watch me not do this now, you can get off your base like that. I could have actually done that faster. Well, I should have done that faster, should I say. In here, got window peaks looking outside the front of the base, and here ladder hatch for when you're absolutely desperate. So now going down back into the base. Okay, here's your bunker. I'm just going to no clip through the bunker. Very simple stability bunker. I'm sure you've all seen them before. Just in case you haven't. I have to wait for that stupid thing to go. Come on. That's how you put your bunker down. Very straightforward. Well, you'd think it was, wouldn't you? And there you go, back out again. So in here, you've got, <coughs> sorry about that. You've got your tier three electric furnaces, two bags. Make sure the bags are always in here because you won't be able to take your bunker down if, if you're just using the bags out there electrics and your turrets and in here you've got a five box loot room and your tool cupboard and this is the upkeep on the main TC so add in what you saw on the I'll put the whole cost on 
right now on the screen. Let me just tap out that. I'll put the cost on now. Hopefully you're still with me. If you are, let's get into the build. Okay, starting off with a lowered triangle foundation, followed by a raised square foundation. Box that in. And pop your TZ down. And that is your starter base. That simple that even my teammates can do that. And believe me, they're idiots. Okay, we're just going to come outside now and put a shelf down. So it'll look like that inside. And put another raised square foundation there. Another lower triangle. And two lower triangles. So it should look like that. Now I will like upgrade and edit out, but these two will definitely need to be HQM, whatever you do. So you wall this in now. Do not put a shelf down here or anything like that because uh, you need to have your bags in here. And this is what your base will look like now. Okay, there's plenty of ways to um, like go from here. Uh, whichever whichever way suits you and how many materials you've got. So far. Two squares there. Pop a door down. And here we are going to pop a door. I sound like I don't know what I'm doing, but really I do. I just can't talk and build. I should really build and then uh, narrate after it. There you go. Right, so now your base <coughs> should look something like this. Coming out here. Three triangles. And a third three triangles. Two squares. Now there will be your gatehouse. One wall there, and you want a door there. One wall there, and you want a door there as well. And that'll be the exit and entrance into your compound there. That'll be where your battery goes. Of course, up here will be a jump, uh, jump up, a bit like a hatch. So let's um, wall this in. Yes, I know, I should have shot window ready. Make sure the wall's facing towards you, hard side towards you there. And here you'll be spamming garage doors. Here you won't be because that will be where your battery goes. For now, you'd probably have something like that. You won't have garage doors yet. But, well, probably not. And that's how your base will look. I'm going to go and just upgrade everything now, just for the video's sake. Okay, now we're going to put the honeycomb down. Uh, 
Make sure that sheet metal. And your honeycombs are very, very, very ugh, get my words out, very simple. This stupid thing down isn't simple. There's a rust book, by the way, so that's the reason for that. And we wall all this in. Just here. That's where your next ladder hatch will go. Probably have garage doors by now to be fair. There you go. So now top honeycomb. Your base should look like this. Correction should look like something there. <laughs> well, maybe I don't know what I'm doing after all. at the moment. It's all that stupid rust bug. That's all about ladder hatch goes. Then down here and on this side here put a raised triangle just there two frames do exactly the same thing on the other side now should be looking like that so it's starting to look like a base now so now we do the roof pieces on the back
I said people can't jump up. That is the base itself. Done. Well, if you remember to upgrade everything, unlike me. So now what we've got now is the externals and the compound to put down. Let me just quickly put the wind turbine down. I can hear my mouse clicking like that. Come on, game. I'll have no, no problem putting these ones down. Because the glitch is just on the, the triangles. And all this will need to be shooting that oh. Well, that will. Okay. So look at your base from this angle. You want a triangle. and delete these and off this one square two square that'll be a gatehouse oh, I didn't have a door ready window I'll only do this one. I'll just times two the other ones. So you don't have to watch this twice. You do exactly the same on the other side. That's your gate's house. Okay, you want to try and go and come out in a half moon. And then you want square, square again. Triangle, triangle, triangle. So it looks like this. On this square, you want a half wall, half wall. And then you want a wall in this. Leaving a doorway here. And closing it in like so. Here goes your TC. And there will go your locker. Your bed just here. And then with the frames, you just follow the pattern. So you've got a triangle there. You've got a square there. You have to do it in a particular order. Why is it stability? And then you can delete all this. All this will be twig for you, obviously. And that's how you do your externals. I will speed through the next one, so you don't have to watch it.
I now put the walls down. The walls are very simple. I want them absolutely flat. Just so there isn't a gap. And the other one will fit perfectly. these back ones <clears throat> best off putting them at a slight angle we need four <clears throat> one on one side go to the other one down like that and when you're putting this one just make sure it's slightly going out like that and it's not going to be scuffed like I'm going to do it. Okay, that is actually a bit scuffed, but I think you get the point. <clears throat> One on there like that. And one in the middle. And I'm just going to speed up that now. And there we go. That is your base built. Have a good wipe.